Exponential functions, they used uh, very extensively in mathematical economics or in, in any branch of economics whatsoever. So you need to know. They have huge applications in economics uh, and you, you'll come to know about this in, in later recordings. Now, first of all, let's come to the point what, what exactly are these exponential functions. So if b is any number such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, then exponential function is a function of the form fx equals to b to the power x. So if you have the function of the form fx equals to b to the power x, okay, where this b, this base is greater than 0, first of all, and this is not equal to 1, then this function fx equals to b to the power x is an exponential function. Let us see why we are not considering 0 and 1. Now, in case if you have fx equals to 0 to the power x, this will be 0. This is a constant function. fx equals to 1 to the power x. In case if, uh, in case if base is 1, then anything, um, any, anything uh, which is 1 to the power anything, okay? So, for example, 1 to the power 1, 1 to the power 2, 1 to the power n, anything will be equal to 1. So, these are constant functions and you want to avoid constant functions because they do not have the properties of the exponential functions which you want to discuss. So you you will avoid this, that is b's, uh, one is that of course b has to be greater than 0 and b not equal to 1. Why you're not even considering b less than 0? Say for example if you have b less than 0, okay, so, so, oh this is wrong actually, it should have been here I've written it wrong. It should be fx equals to b to the power x. You can't write this is for this is only reserved for x. It should be 1 by 2 only. Okay, I'm so sorry. So what I'm trying to say is this that supposedly if you have the form of the function fx equals to uh, b to the power x and you want to calculate say this f of 1 by 2 that is b to the power 1 by 2 Okay, you can have uh, you, you you can have bases which are lying between zero to one. Okay, well the only problem is suppose if this is a negative base. Suppose if this is like minus two to the power one by two, this will become root of minus two, which is two iota. But you want to avoid complex roots. Okay, so what we have understood here is that f x equals to b to the power x form. 1, this is the form of uh, the exponential function. This base has to be greater than 0 and it is not, in, 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 and it shouldn't be equal to 1. Okay, now let's draw the graph of this figure. Fine, let me just draw this with different inks. Okay, now suppose if there are two functions, fx equals to 3 to the power x and gx equals to 1 by 3 to the power x. So as you could see here, here I have explicitly taken b which is greater than 1 and here I've taken b which is lying between 0 to 1 okay which is lying between 0 to 1 as you could see here is that fine now supposedly if x is equal to minus 2 what is the value of fx here 3 to the power minus 2 which is 1 upon 3 square which is 1 upon 9 so when x is equal to minus 2 fx is equal to 1 by 9. When x is equal to minus 1, then fx equals to 1 by 3. When x is equal to 0, then it is 3 to the power 0. Okay, anything to the power 0 is 1. Okay, when x is equal to 1, then it is 3 to the power 1, which is 3. And x equals to 2, it will be 9. Okay, you can go forward as much as you want. So it'll be a function something like this, okay? So it is fx equals to 3 to the power x function. Now let's see, as you could see here, first of all, when, when this base is, is greater than 1, you have an increasing function, okay? Well, you'll be able to compare it well once you have done 1 by 3 to the power x also. Now here, 1 by 3 to the power x. So when x is equal to minus 2, 
it is 1 by 3 to the power minus 2 which is 9 so when x is equal to minus 2 the value of the function is 9 when x is equal to minus 1 the value of the function is 3 when x is equal to 0 the value of the function is 1 when x is equal to 1 the value of the function is 1 by 3 when x is equal to 2 the value of the function is 1 by 9 so you have the function which goes like this so it is gx equals to 1 by 3 to the power x you could see this there are several properties which you have to look for this exponential function one very important this function is crossing at this point which is point zero one one thing okay any exponential function with any base if it has a base which is greater than 1 or it has a base which is lying between 0 to 1 it will definitely pass through this point 0 and 1 1 other in case if you have a base which is greater than 1 you have somewhat like an increasing function if you have a base which is lying between 0 to 1 you have something like decreasing function here okay I've also spelled out these properties for you here okay so so these are some of the properties of an exponential function in the next recording we're going to talk about a specific exponential function what is a specific exponential function now exponential function is of course of the form fx equal to b to the power x now this b can take up any value in the next recording we're going to talk about a specific exponential function which is of the form this where b takes up the form of e where e is a specific number E is approximately equal to 2.718 and so on so whatever so it is 2.718 so we'll see that function first and how do you get this value of E which is 2.718